Petaluma, the little city south of the North Bay. Um, I think oftentimes people overlook this great area, but in today's video, I'm going to be giving, giving you everything you need to know. School districts, how many people live here, how many people move here, how many people are moving away from here, uh, what does the city look like. I'm actually going to open up a map so you can see inside. I'm going to show you some good places, some bad places, and basically just give you everything you need to know about Petaluma, California. What's up, guys? My name is Danny M. Cronin. I'm a real estate agent right here in the beautiful Sonoma County area. Uh, if this is your very first time to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I drop a video once a week, every single week, all having to do with living in Sonoma County. Pros, cons, what there is to do, housing, you name it, I got you covered right here. So hit that subscribe button if you're interested in learning more. And as always, I'm a full-time real estate agent. So if you have any questions, you're thinking about moving away, you're thinking about purchasing here, whatever the case is, I would love the opportunity to work with you. All my contact information is below, call, text, email, whatever is easiest for you. And without further ado, let's jump right into this week's video. pulled up. I just wanted to give you guys a good idea of what Petaluma is, how big it is, where exactly is it on the map. So it is highlighted here. So obviously this is south. Uh, when you're just looking at a map here, it's not, you know, up this way. We got Katati, Runner Park, Santa Rosa, Windsor, so on and so forth. So it is south when you're looking at it on the map. And that was the wrong button. Let's go ahead and hit that a couple times. Zoom on in. Okay, so starting here at the back. So just to kind of like give you an overview, I think Petaluma is an amazing town. Um, it is smaller than, uh, say, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa is the biggest city inside of Sonoma County. Uh, but Petaluma is awesome. It used to be like a little farm town back in the day. They used to have hay farms. Um, uh, they did like a lot of 4-H stuff here, you know, livestock, stuff like that. This was just, again, a small little hay town. Um, but it's really, really come a long way. So let's jump right into it and go over a couple things here. So I think, um, so here is the outline here. And, you know, obviously... This is off Highway 101. I get a lot of people asking me about traffic. Is it bad? And I'm, I'm just going to shoot it straight here. Right here, this is the 101. Um, they have been doing road construction on this 101 since I was like a little kid. And when I say little kid, like I'm 30 now. And uh, <laughs> ever since I can remember coming through Petaluma, if you're traveling north, say into Santa Rosa, Windsor, Healdsburg, whatever, it, you know, during rush hour traffic, it's a nightmare because back here in Nevada, if you just keep going a little bit uh, south, it's called the Nevada Narrows. And basically the highway merges from, what is it, like four lanes all the way down to one lane. And it's that way all the way until you get like halfway through Petaluma, then it opens up and then it's a normal highway. But there's still traffic if it's during rush hour I know Highway 101, the project has been going on literally forever, so I don't know whenever they're going to get around to finishing that. But I thought that was a, an interesting thing to point out here. Uh, a couple places I did want to point out, if you guys are barbecue people, if you like tri-tip, pulled pork, if you guys love that style of food, this place right here, you will not find a better place to go to get that style of food. And I love the style of food. This is my jam. This is what I do. My wife and I, we come here all the time. There used to be another spot in Santa Rosa, uh, Bennett Valley area, but it norm now there's like a new owner. So the menu's changed. 
things quite quite aren't the same. So this is our go-to spot, Lombardi's. I'm telling you guys, you have to come here. It is a total blast of a time when you come here. They got an outdoor area you can sit down. They got benches area. They got the smokers outside, smoke's going everywhere. It always smells good. Uh, they're on a huge lot. You can actually go there, you know, pull have like a little picnic style if you want to pull out a blanket, um, eat your sandwiches and just have literally the time of your life. It's so much fun. They serve beer here, which is amazing. Um, so I'm always a huge fan of that. But going back to the map, a uh, couple places to point out. So there are two high schools in Petaluma. You have Casa Grande High School and Petaluma High School. Um, both really, really good schools. I had a bunch of friends that went to both of these places and they both really, really liked it. They got a Cattleman's here. Of course, there is a Hen House Brew Co. and a Lagunitas Brew Company. If you are a beer person, I really can't name another city where uh, it's a better place to be. Because not only do they have Hen House, Lagunitas, uh, that are both, you know, this is, these are two local companies here. But they have a place called uh, Brewster's that is out of this world. Like, talk about a fun time if you think the sandwich spot is a fun time. Going to Brewster's is a blast. You can bring your dog. They have, like, this amazing spread. They have great food. They have great beer. Just such a fun time during the holidays. They have lights all over the place. They have things hanging from the ceiling. So it's truly an experience to go there. But I just wanted to show you guys a couple fun things here in Petaluma. Um, and then going back, let's zoom back into the map here a little bit more. So kind of heading south. Uh, there is the KOA, the campground over here, which is awesome. My in-laws, before I sold them a house in Oakmont, um, they used to come up all the time and they used to stay at this campground. And it's one of the one of the nicer ones, I would say. Um, I know like daytime passes and stuff like that isn't too expensive. So if you're an RV person, if you like to travel, if you like to go camping, you got to check out this spot. This spot's super, super cool. They have um, all sorts of outdoor games there. I remember before my wife and I had our son, we used to go there and meet her nephews and they used to have like the time of their lives. They have like a little fire station. You could have fires. You can go to the clubhouse. They have like an arcade. Such an amazing time over there. Uh, just zooming out here a little bit more to kind of give you guys your bearings, myself as well. Um, Lucchese Park. There are a ton of parks in Petaluma. And I always, you know, when helping people purchase and seeing some things that are important to them. I know if you have small children, parks are like number one on the list. If you're like going crazy in the house, you want to be nearby a park. I completely understand that with my two-year-old. So here in Petaluma, you're safe. I mean, if you just look over here, Prince Park, Lucchese Park, um, there's uh, Cypress Hill over here. I mean, there's just countless parks in this place that really, really, really makes it special. Another special spot, I used to come here all the time when I was a kid, the Petaluma Fairgrounds. They have these sprint car races every once in a while over here. Um, I think they used to do them a lot more frequently, or maybe I'm just not up to date with what they got going on over here, but I know they still have it. I don't know if they still have it as much as they used to. I know with COVID, things got kind of weird, but um Great place to go and hang out. Again, if you have kids, go check that place out. The fairgrounds is awesome. They always have different uh, events going on. They have the Peggy Sue car show. That is where they meet. And then they have the rally uh, downtown Santa Rosa. So it goes from Petaluma all the way to Santa Rosa. So if you're into classic cars, that place is great. Um, more restaurants here, El Roy's Taco Truck. My wife and I actually, I live in Santa Rosa and I make special trips just to come to Petaluma to go get tacos and burritos from that taco truck. Taco truck, they are truly out of this world. We spoke about it earlier. Brewster's, I can't say enough good things, really. I mean, you guys just Google Brewster's Beer Garden Petaluma. Check this spot out. Look at their menu. It's truly, truly amazing. Um, and then another thing I wanted to show, let's pop it up here, is McNear's. So if, you, if you're researching Petaluma, maybe you're thinking about buying here, 
you're looking at stuff, you're going to see this name around a lot. <clears throat> uh, John McNear was actually one of the very first people who like helped develop Petaluma. He was a total business person. It was a father and son team. Uh, they literally had their hand in everything when it came come, when it comes to business. Um, they helped develop the city. Uh, they were entrepreneurs. They were civic leaders. So they started with a hay, hay yard that turned into a trucking company. And then, then from there, they just kind of blew up. So that is what that name is. You're going to see it all around. There's a McNear's Park. McNear's Saloon, Dining House, uh, Mystic Theater is also right next to McNear's. So if you see that name around a lot, that is why. Uh, very, very, very popular back in the day as well as today. Uh, so let's zoom it back out here. Type back in Petaluma so it knows where we are. Highlight the city for us. All right, jump back in, jump back in. So there's one of the high schools I talked about earlier, uh, Casa Grande High School, super, super cool school. Again, I had a lot of friends that went there. They loved it. More parks. Um, so Petaluma, for the most part, is kind of divided up east side and west side. The west side is where downtown is, um, and that's where a lot of older, they kind of developed that part of town first when they started building in Petaluma. So you're going to see a lot of older Victorian style homes there, bungalow style, craftsmen. Um, and the west side is definitely more expensive than the east side. But the good news is on the east side, it's basically brand new. Like all of the shopping centers, if you go down McDowell, uh, let's see if I can pull it up here on the map. But if you come into Petaluma and you go left, basically all of this stuff over here is brand new. Uh, let's see, where are we, Corona, Safeway, the shopping center inside of here is all brand new, and basically down this whole drag, it's all brand new. So if you're looking for like, you know, nicer updated stuff, maybe you're on a little bit of a budget, the east side of Petaluma is where you need to start looking, uh, and then venture over to the west side, that's where all the fun stuff is, downtown, Mystic Theater, Brewster's, like all of the fun stuff is downtown Petaluma and that's where the more expensive houses are. Uh, so that kind of breaks up Petaluma a bit there, east and west. Uh, let me look at, oh, one thing about McNear's, I wrote this quote down when I was doing my research. So um, I guess this is a saying for from the McNear's, the father and son team, and I quote, Try the barbecue, obey the bartender, smile at your neighbor, and do not miss St. Patrick's Day. Remember, it's a good life if you know when to weaken Ireland forever. So since there is some Irish blood in my body, I, like, I saw that quote. I instantly loved it. Um, huge fan of all of that. So that's cool. Um, Petaluma. Petaluma also has a river that flows through it. Um, there's a little, you know, next to the campground, there's a little spot you can park your boat if you have a boat. Um, so that's super nice, super convenient to have. I actually have some friends that fish and they actually park their boat here. Uh, I think the fees are relatively low, but definitely look into the membership and what that looks like. Um, Again, there's tons of stuff to do here, tons of stuff to eat. Here's Petaluma High School. We got the Petaluma Museum. Check that place out. Super, super fun. Uh, Ray's Deli right here. Um, and the cool thing about Petaluma too is I think during the pandemic, we had, we saw a huge influx in people purchasing in the North Bay, but Petaluma specifically, strictly because obviously if people are working in San Francisco, if people are working in Marin, Novato, you know, during the pandemic, it was people were working from home, right? So I think a lot of people got the idea of why am I going to pay these crazy expensive mortgage rates and rental uh, if, if I can work from anywhere. So we saw a lot of people move to Petaluma um, 
and you know it definitely blew up the city a bit but what i'm getting at here is a lesser commute say you do work in san francisco nevado marin whatever the case is not only is it a little bit cheaper in petaluma uh, relatively speaking but you're going to have a shorter commute because most of the commute if you're up further north here even if you're just in pengrove runner park katati just getting to Petaluma sometimes can be a nightmare because traffic does start back and all the way up here starting in Petaluma and it just feeds all the way back, all the way north on 101, depending on the time. So um, if you're looking for a shorter commute, if you do live in uh, or if you do work in San Francisco or some of the cities south, this is definitely you know a spot you have to check out. Uh, Schollenberger Park. I actually, before I got into real estate, I used to work. There was like a small little, I think it's like right here-ish. Uh, it was called Athleta. And I used to do, I was contracted, long story, blah, blah, blah. And I used to work there. We used to always walk over to Schollenberger Park and walk. They have a cool little lake over here. And the park is beautiful. I mean, miles and miles and miles of walking. Uh, if that's what you're interested in doing, hiking, all of the above. Super, super cool. Next to that is the golf course, something I've been trying to get better at myself. Um, golfing, this is a very famous golf course here. I got a ton of friends that come here all the time and they love it. It's always a good time. Uh, so if you're into golfing, that's something to look forward to. Uh, and then over here, again, McNears, you're going to see the name a lot. Here is McNear Park, just another park. Uh, in Petaluma, like I mentioned earlier, there's tons and tons and tons of parks and outdoor activities to do. Um, let's talk about events a little bit. So downtown Petaluma does host a ton of events. I got to say, probably my most favorite one is the um, Cruise in the Boulevard, uh, American Graffiti. It's basically a rally of older cars. So all the guys and girls with cool cars head over there. They put on like a little car show and then they do like a little rally, a little cruise, if you will, through downtown. And the reason they do that is to commemorate um, American Graffiti, which the movie, which happened to be shot right here in Petaluma. Some of the parts, some of the other parts were, you know, in different cities, but a lot of that movie was shot right here in Petaluma. Um, but that's just one of the great things. They have live music here on top of all the fun like activities, the good schools, everything else that Petaluma has to offer. There really is something to do here every single weekend. Uh, they have their annual parade every single year. People line up downtown. They do a little march. It's a whole thing, a whole parade. Super, super fun. Um, but yeah, I think Petaluma, I feel like I'm rambling here, but I think as a whole, if you're looking for a, a good, solid place to live, smaller, another good thing about Petaluma is they have land. So if you're looking for land, if you're look, maybe you have horses, livestock, whatever the case is, there's tons and tons and tons of farms around here that are, you know, re, they don't really come up for sale all too often. But if you're looking to live on the outskirts of town, maybe a little bit more privacy, uh, but nearby a great town to still have a ton of things to do, I would highly suggest checking out Petaluma. Uh, but overall, cool town, small, 60,000 people, not too crazy. I know it is, you know, relatively small compared to Santa Rosa and some of these other cities. But for the most part, I love Petaluma. I think it's great. I think it's super diverse. You can be on the east side of town, get one price point and X amount of things to do. And then you can go head over to the other side of town where there's even more things to do. So parks, outdoor activities, amazing car shows, fun stuff to do, great food. Um, so if you're looking for a place like this, and I would highly recommend checking out Petaluma and I don't want to ramble on too long here. So if you guys have any questions at all about Petaluma, please feel free to reach out to me any way you want. Call me, text me, email, whatever's easier. All my contact information is below. And I just came out with a brand new website. It is living dash in Sonoma County.com. Um, on there is going to be all of my videos, a little bit about me, some reviews. I just came out with a podcast recently, so I'm going to be putting that on there as well as a blog. So if video and listening to me ramble on forever uh, isn't your cup of tea, 
check out living-insonomacounty.com. My blog will be uploaded on there. All of my videos that I've ever done are going to be transcribed into written word. So check that out, read some articles, and there's also a contact form on there as well. Easiest way to get a hold of me, it sends an email right to me. I get an alert right away so I can give you a call. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.